Good evening, this is just a little instruction video. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me from time to time how to connect the Hornby Elite to the Row Crowl program. Now, up until this time, I haven't actually done this because I use the ECOS system, which is, for me, so much easier. But um, everyone to their own. So this is how we've connected it to the Row Crowl program. First of all, you've got a USB, which goes to your laptop or your computer. And you've also got an ExpressNet cable, which has to go there for the accessories. Now, according to Row Crowl, you need to be running version 1.2 or higher on the Hornby Elite system. You can download the updates from the Hornby website and you also need to install the drivers so that it can connect to the ports. Uh, all the information for that is on the Hornby website. I've also connected an accessory decoder which is coded 1 to 4 um, to the main track feed just for this experiment and I've used a couple of LEDs to show it in operation. <coughs> now if we come over to the laptop I'm using, this laptop's been updated to run Windows XP. Um, personally I would like a faster system than that, um, but this is a spare computer and um, it's eventually gonna be cleared out so that it can run successfully row crail and operate a person's layer. Currently I've just plonked this into the bottom of my new control panel which will be complete shortly. That's going to have ECOS down there and uh, the main control panel up here. So right, so if we just open up Rowcrow. Now Rowcrow, once you've downloaded it from the website if you go to uh, systems, select what type of systems it runs um, Raspberry Pi, it runs uh, Lumix, it also runs Windows, all, all versions. Download it to your system, install it. You may it may trigger a vast, it may trigger some of your virus systems. Uh, if it does, you have to set up so that the virus checker ignores those uh, commands from Rowcrow. Once you've got all that installed, you have to you'll get uh, a file. You drag Rowcrow server onto your desktop and drag Rock Viewer onto your desktop. Now you launch these in order. So you launch Rock Rail server first. And as you can see, it's connected to the Elite. Now I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And then we launch the Rock View. Now Rowcrow is a free program created by model railway enthusiasts for model railway enthusiasts and it's being developed all the time. There's an awful lot of functionality to this program and the program is free. However, if you want to use mobile devices uh, by connecting a router through your system and running it on the smartphones, iPhones and other systems, this can be done, but it will require a donation to the Rowcrail Fund. Um, last time I done it, it was eight euros, which for this piece of technology is uh, certainly very worth it. Now I've designed my friend's track plan, and um, I've set up all the accessories on it. F what I'll go through first is how to actually connect your controller to it. So initially, you'll just get a loop diagram, which is just the demo. But what we're going to do now is just go through the settings. 
So if we go File, and we go to Row Crail Properties, then we go across to Controller, and as you can see, it's already found the Elite. Now this doesn't automatically set this up. As I say, it's a generic program and it's suitable for lots of different systems. Um, so you do need to set this up. So what I'll do is I'll just double click on that. Now when you first do this, you'll get this dialog box up straight away. And you need to set it, you need to find out what COM port it's coming in on. On this one it's 11. Um, set it for the elite setting um, and then have power on at startup, power state for all accessories and V2 command. Switching in milliseconds, that's just been set, set to standard for you. I don't know yet whether I've got to alter that. Um, that will depend when I plug it into a, uh, my friend Ian's layout and see whether it actually works. And then we've got a bit rate here, 19200. And that gives us the connectivity that we want for this system. Now it's an active diagram. So once you've built all your diagram, which I'll show in another video, um, you need to set up your accessories. You'll do that by right clicking and going down to properties and going up to interface now the Hornby system for some reason they've started their accessories uh, the first module as zero um, which means you put address as zero and port as one then you carry on through so um, that will go until you get to four and then the next one after that will be one, 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 two, one, three, one, four and so on and so forth. Now just check that we've got the connectivity on this. If I fire this point here and then I'll show you what's actually happening on the accessory decoder. All right. And as you can see, that's got full connectivity between the, the various systems that are operating here.